Naval Traditions Baptism of the Ship Sailors are superstitious people, and there have always been many different rituals and traditions in the Navy. The baptism of a ship is one such tradition. Now, when launching a ship on the water, a bottle of champagne is smashed on its side. But this wasn't always how a launching ceremony was celebrated. Severe Nordic seafarers, or the Vikings, were usually extremely uncompromising when it came to their warships, the Drakars. As a sacrifice to the gods, they put captives under the keel. A so-so tradition, isn't it? In other cultures, people were gentler and used large and small domestic livestock as a sacrifice which they simply threw overboard. The poor animals were saved by Christianity, which abolished the barbaric ritual, transforming the bloody sacrifice into a humane and symbolic baptism by red wine. In the 15th and 16th centuries in England, the launching of a ship was almost a national holiday, at which the top officials of the state were present. The most important bishop often performed the ceremony. It was a huge party. Kings established a rule. After toasting for the new ship, they threw a gold bowl overboard, with the crowds cheering on in support. By the 17th century, the monarchs stopped throwing away their dinnerware and precious metals. And at that time, the tradition of smashing a bottle of champagne on the ship's side appeared in France. At the beginning of the 19th century, women started to get engaged during the ritual. Usually, they were noble and respected ladies. At the same time, the lady who smashed the bottle became the godmother of the ship. There is a case where one Greek steamer was baptized by a three-year-old girl, the ship owner's daughter. She is the youngest godmother to date. The 20th century was the century of experiments and variations of this rite. For example, fish oil was poured on trawlers, and a block of ice or bottle of water taken from the Arctic Ocean was broken over an icebreaker's side. One Dane baptized his ship for fruit transportation with orange juice. Various mechanisms for smashing were invented. One of them looked like a Roman ballista. There was a case where the bottle was smashed by radio. A signal about the launched ship was transmitted from Australia to England using a telephone. But the bottle didn't always break. It is believed that an unbroken bottle promises misfortune for the ship. To avoid this, the bottom, not the neck, was notched, thus helping sailors make their own luck. After all, sailors are not only superstitious, but also as sharp as attack. Nevertheless, you'll discover more in the next episode.